Old specimens show HIV originated in Central Africa and crossed from chimpanzees to humans as a form of simian immunodeficiency virus, which underwent a mutation and as a result became HIV-1. Cross-species transmission to humans was most likely due to hunting and handling of bushmeat. The HIV virus started spreading rapidly as Africa's first cities were created, and acquired immune deficiency syndrome was first recognised as a new disease. Two research groups led by Robert Gallo and Luc Montagnier discovered the human HIV-1 virus, which, if left untreated, almost always progresses to AIDS. An international team of researchers identified a family of proteins, including the GAG protein, involved in HIV-1 budding from host cells. Using bioinformatics and yeast hybrids, they were found to be essential for the spread of the virus. HIV is an RNA virus. Infection begins when viral receptors bind to the cell surface membrane. The viral membrane fuses with the cell membrane and releases the RNA genome and associated proteins into the cytoplasm. Once in the cytoplasm, reverse transcriptase makes a double-stranded DNA copy of the viral RNA genome. The viral DNA is transported into the nucleus and is integrated into the host genome by the enzyme integrase. The integrated proviral DNA directs the synthesis of RNA copies of the viral genome. These RNA copies are templates for the synthesis of viral proteins. The GAG protein packages the viral RNA and proteins in a shell called the nucleocapsid. Meanwhile, the viral envelope proteins are synthesized in the ER from a spliced RNA transcript. After processing in the Golgi, the envelope protein and the host cell membrane combine with the virus particle and bud from the cell surface to release new infectious viruses. Agents, what have you got for me? So, here at the University of St. Andrews, Kathleen Adamson and her research group, they are trying to understand the role of the GAC protein and the capsid SP1 regions in the virus life cycle. What exactly are these? So, the GAG protein is an important protein with many functions. It's involved in forming the structural shell of the viral particle. It also traffics the viral components to the site of assembly. Most importantly, it's involved in the maturation of the new virus particle. The SP1 region is a specific section of the capsid that envelops the viral genome. Why so much focus on these regions? Well, sir, the HIV assembly is a two-stage process involving an intermediate immature capsid that undergoes a maturation to produce the infectious particle. This is controlled by a viral protease which cleaves the GAC polyprotein precursor. Without maturation, the virus is non-infectious. You're telling me that if we can somehow prevent the cleavage of the GAC protein, we can prevent maturation? Precisely so. And this is where Dr. Adamson's research is significant as she's working on a drug that binds directly to the cleavage site of the GAG protein and therefore inhibits the enzyme's activity by binding to its substrate. Essentially, it is a maturation inhibitor. And how much progress has been made so far? Well, sir, maturation inhibitors are still a fairly novel mechanistic class of antiretroviral drugs. But there have been promising developments such as the drug Bevirimab, which was an important focus of Dr. Adamson's research. Sir, Bevirimab prevents the protease enzyme from cleaving capsid spacer peptide 1. It therefore stops the virus particle core from compressing into its normal mature shape, which is crucial for infectivity. Great work, Asians. I'll be in touch. <laughs>